So we got who sent it, what is the message. Now remember, we also have a color parameter, which is basically the color of the text. And one of the most important things, the ID, because you know, we know how to organize it in our head, but computers and databases, they need ID to keep things in order. So now that we have all of those parameters from the user, we can go ahead and do a simple check to test whether this is a valid message. Now what do I mean by that? It's very, very incredibly simple. So here's how you do that. And of course, whenever you're making this for your real website, you may want to test this a little more in detail. But for right now, we're just going to test and make sure that everything is not equal to blank. Now, for example, you may want to, uh, you know, make sure that they don't use any SQL injection or cross-site scripting, especially for this. But for right now, this is a very simple check. Um, you know, for example, if they try to send a message and they didn't write anything in the text box or the input area, then we're gonna, you know, give them an error or it's not gonna send. So if name is not equal to anything. Um, let's see, let's make a, where's my little ant sign, and, alright, if name is equal, actually we can do or, that'd probably be better, or, the message, of course you need something in your message, or, the color, let's just go ahead and copy this again. or the color forgot what I freaking copied already alright so we're basically saying as long as you have something for your name as long as you wrote something in the message and as long as you have some sort of color then we're gonna say that it's a vet <coughs> one second <coughs> oh my god this is so embarrassing coughing right in the middle of my freaking tutorial wow I'm gonna have to edit that part out but anyways the reason that we don't check if ID is equal to something because the user doesn't manually set the ID. The ID gets auto incremented depending on, you know, the ID gets set by the database, by the computer. So we don't need the user to, you know, manually put an ID in. So now that they have a valid message, what do we want to do? Well, let's go ahead and first of all, we know that we're going to use a function or a method from here, the chat class. So we'll grab our object, which is called chat, and in order to use, you know, crap from your class, you make that little arrow. Now, since this is the mode to send new messages, then let's go ahead and look for a method that would resemble sending a message. Delete message? No. Post new message? Bingo. That's what we want. So post new message. <coughs> wow, that gotta stop smoking that weed before my freaking tutorials post new message and we can just go ahead and copy this because we can take all those parameters and see what we need to write in so the first parameter is the username so we can just go ahead and throw the name in there now the second parameter that it needs is the message itself so we can go ahead and boom look at that the message and the third one is the color so now what we're doing one last time whenever we're using the mode send and retrieve new messages which pretty much means um, send a new message to the other users what this means is the user type their message into the chat room so we're gonna get the name of the user the message itself the color and the ID which we'll set later on and we will want to make sure that it's a valid message for example they didn't leave the message blank or anything and if it's a valid message then we can go ahead and use this post new message to insert the message into the database and remember later on we're gonna be talking about different modes but essentially once the message is inserted into the database then it updates on everyone else's screen therefore creating the most brilliant symphony of computer programming which I call a chat room so anyways thank you guys for watching and by the way um we are not done with these modes yet so stick around for the next tutorial and reminder please go to buckysroom.com and all of the source code is there. Check over it, make sure I don't have any stupid bugs. And also, if you want to ask questions, um, you know, talk with other users, pretty much just join buckysroom.com because it's a pretty awesome site and we can talk about all the code together. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you there.